Well, I'm Ken Bowden. I'm CEO of Horizontal Solutions International, and today I'll be talking about successfully geosteering horizontal wells in unconventional reservoirs. When drilling a vertical well, uh, geologists really only had to give a target to drill to, and either the well the formation would be there or not, and the pay would be there or not. In a horizontal well, there's more of an intimate relationship between the structure and the stratigraphy along the path of the well bore. As a result, we coined a term to help us steer a horizontal well more successfully. TSP it stands for True Stratigraphic Position and is the position of the well bore relative to a reference stratigraphic horizon, such as the top of the target. In this diagram, you see a zero TSP uh, at the top of target. Uh, if the well bore is below that zeroed out TSP, then you have a positive TSP. Uh, at the end of the well, you see where the well drilled across a fault and out of target above it, which would give you a negative TSP. So what this does, this gives you a relative reference point so that you can steer your horizontal well and know exactly where the well bore is within zone at any time. TVD is the depth of the well bore below a surface datum and really has nothing to do with stratigraphy, so it's not a good datum to utilize to steer a horizontal well. There are really four keys needed to navigate a horizontal well successfully. The first is the position of the bit in the earth. That's provided by directional surveys. The, our TSP method, or true stratigraphic position me method, uh, provides, as part of the interpretation, the stratigraphic position of the bit. It also gives you the formation dip rate, the apparent formation dip rate in the direction that the well bore is drilling. And that's really important so that you can adjust your trajectory to keep your well bore within the tolerance of your target. The fourth thing is the, being able to identify faults, uh, both small scale faults below the resolution of seismic and larger faults that may fault you out of zone so that you can then steer the well to uh, get back within your target. The concept is fairly simple. As the apparent formation dip is changed, the data from the lateral is projected to vertical at uh, a different thickness. In this diagram, you see the well bore in blue, the gamma ray in brown, and then uh, the top of target in red and the bottom target in green. Um, the, uh, the data is projected down formation dip line to draw a vertical projection of that data. As the formation dip rate is changed, you can see that the thickness of that data changes. As the well turns back up section, you can see that the signature of that gamma ray actually flips around. And what we then do is we take that signature that represents that vertical thickness, correlates, correlate it to other vertical wells in the area, and we're able to tell from that thickness what the apparent formation dip rate is.